Good morning everyone dear students. Dear students, in the previous class you all learned about how to convert the greater units value into smaller units value and also smaller units value into greater units value. In this class, I am going to explain about exercise that is 6.2. Exercise 6.2. Page number 18. What is the page number? 80. In the page number 80, exercise part is the 6.2. First, you should read the question carefully what they give up. A glass contains 300 milliliter of water and another glass contains 250 milliliter of water. If water from both, both the glasses are poured into a jug, what is the quantity of water in a jug? See, one is 250 milliliter, another one is 300 milliliter. Okay, we should add the add these two because what they said glasses are poured into a jug. See here in one glass uh, 300 milliliter is there and another glass 250 milliliter. These two glasses poured into one jug. Now they are asking what is the quantity of water in a jug. We should add the Add these two glasses. First glass contains water. First glass contains contains three hundred milliliter water. Okay, and the second glass contains. Second glass contains two fifty milliliter water. Now we should add these two. First, we should add these two. Zero plus zero, zero. Zero plus five, five. Three plus two, that is five. 550 milliliter of water that is jug contains jug contains jug contains 550 milliliter of water therefore the quantity of the quantity the quantity of water in the jug is in the jug is 550 milliliter 550 milliliter see a glass contains 300 of water and another glass contains 250 milliliter of Water. If water from both the glasses are poured into a glass, so what is the quantity of water in the jug? First glass contains 300 milliliter of water. Second glass contains 250 milliliter of water. And jug contains 550 milliliter of water. The quantity of water in the jug is 550 milliliter. Write in your classwork book. Write in your classwork book. Now, second question. What is the second question? First, we should understand the question carefully. If they given question for addition purpose, subtraction purpose, for which purpose they give it, you should identify that one first carefully. That's why you should read the question. 
second question now i am writing second question a milk man a milk man see a milk man has 5 liter 700 ml 5 liter 700 ml of milk of
थ्री लीटर सिक्स हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर सो मिल्कमैन हाज द मिल्कमैन हाज मिल टोटल से
मिलीमीटर नंबर ऑफ फ्रेंड्स फोर आर दे सो हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय फोर दैट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सी अगेन अगेन आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग सी हियर हंड्रेड फोर टू जा फोर टू जा हाउ मच एट यू शुड राइट टू एट बिलो द जीरो नॉट बिलो द वन एंड here zero minus it is not possible because of that reason we will take the carry so one carry so that is 10 10 minus 8 is 2 so 1 minus 1 is 0 and this is zero directly 4 5 za 20 4 5 20 zero minus zero is zero Two minus two is also zero. So like this, I did division. Understand? Okay, dear students. Up to here, you should write uh, six point two exercise one in this class. First, second, third, fourth. I explained four questions. You should write four questions and also answers in your class workbook and write neatly. Okay. Write neatly. 